Hey guys, what's going on? So today is my review of the Pelican Air 1615 case. Now over the years, I've come to own quite a few think tank bags, which are bags for photographers and filmmakers. And when it came time to get a case for traveling, I bought the Think Tank Production Manager 40. Now I use that for a number of months and a number of trips until one day I went to the airport and one of the check-in ladies jumped over the counter with measuring tape and basically started measuring my bag and she told me my bag was 66 inches or 68 inches and that it was over the measurement. Now I've always known the 50 pound limit, but this was new to me. And what the measurement is, is it's the length the width and the height all added together can't exceed 62 inches. So I sold that bag and I began the search for a new bag that would work for my luggage beneath the plane. And I was looking at the Tenba bag. This bag is used by quite a few filmmakers. I have some friends that use it and it's a great bag. However, it only added up to 60 inches and I wanted those extra two inches. Right around the time I was ready to make a purchase, Pelican, a well-known company that has made cases through the years, came out with these air cases. And throughout the line of these air cases, they're specifically made for travel, and the 1615 is exactly to the 62 inch measurement. And Pelican cases are often very heavy because of all the plastic, but the air cases are a lot lighter. The 1615 case, when completely empty, comes in at just over 14 pounds. So of the 50 pound limit, you still have 36 pounds to work with. So I bought two of these cases. When you buy these cases, you can get three options on the inside. You can get this new Trek Pack option, which is the most expensive. You can get traditional dividers that come in yellow, and you can also get the pluck and, pluck and pull, which is the cheapest option. I got the Trek Pack and the dividers. So my Trek Pack case is full of tripod, glide cam, slider, all that equipment, and it's maxed out to exactly 48 pounds and that bag just lives that way. My other bag I don't even have the yellow dividers in because I put my drone backpack on one half of the bag and I'll use the other half of the bag for some of my clothing. So these cases now I've owned a couple months and recently I was on a trip to Nepal and Indonesia and Singapore. I was on a trip throughout Asia where these bags really were put to the test. When I was in Nepal, I had to trek to a very remote location and these cases were on the roof of the van we had. And pretty much just throughout the whole trip, they were tested. They were tested through rain. They were tested through every type of taxi driver, Uber driver you could imagine. And one thing I love about these cases off the bat is when you have normal suitcases, they get scratched up, there's a tear in the cloth. Everyone's always damaging your suitcase. With these cases, I the, the, literally the first time an Uber driver put it into the car, he was like, ah, like he like jammed his hand on it or something. In the back of my mind, I was like, that's right. Don't mess with my cases. But seriously, throughout all the time, these cases refuse to be messed with. If you mishandle them or you, you are not dealing with them, it's gonna ding your car door. They are heavy duty. They are built like tanks. And I love that about them. And yes, they, they get scratched up and the plastic takes some wear and tear, but ultimately you're trying to protect what's on the inside that matters. And they have done that completely. When you buy these cases, you have a lifetime warranty, which is really great, especially at the price point you're paying. Also, they are airtight and watertight. And to test this, I basically took my full case full of 48 pounds worth of equipment, closed it up and threw it into the pool and as you can see here, my brother was trying to sink it and he had no such luck. Another great thing about these cases is too, is so many times I found myself using the top of it as a table. When I'm changing lenses, when I'm putting on quick release plates, even when I fly the drone, I will take off the drone if I'm in kind of a sketchy area from on top of the case because often the drone will create a lot of dust if you take it off from a dirty environment. When you take it off from on top of the case, you will eliminate a lot of that dust on the people watching the drone, as well as just the drone getting dusty itself when it flies. The other great thing about these cases too is when I travel, I travel with the two of them. And I am never going to take more than these cases. I'm not gonna pay for the extra luggage. I have my clients pay for the extra luggage. I need to fit all the equipment I'm gonna bring in these two cases. 
And the fact that I have the yellow dividers and the fact that I have a way to adjust them as I go, because eventually the drone I use is probably gonna be a lot smaller and might not need a huge bag. So uh, in my second case, there'll be room for light kits, there'll be room for other things. So they're constantly being adjusted of how I fill them. But my way of traveling with them, and these are my two homes for my equipment, remains the same. So I really like that flexibility. For those of you that are filmmakers, and maybe you don't travel that much at the moment, but you're gonna be anticipating traveling in the future, investing in one of these cases might be a very wise decision for you. I know they seem a bit pricey, but with the warranty you have with them, and with the durability, you, I really don't think you can go wrong. I'm really happy I got them. I hope this review has been helpful to you guys as you're making the decision whether to buy the Pelican case or not. I will see you in the next video. Peace.